All right, let's talk about point slope form of a line. Uh, the equation of a line through the point x1, y1 with slope m in point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we want to find the equation of a line that passes through the point negative 3, negative 1 and has slope 6. And then once we plug all this into the formula, we want to solve it for y. So in this problem, 6 is our slope, so that's m. And then our point, x1, y1, here's x1, y1. Okay. So let's, let's find the equation of a line. So we have y minus y1, which is negative 1, equals m times, I'm sorry, m, which is 6, times x minus x1. So this gives us y plus 1 equals 6 times x plus 3. All I did is change this to plus and change this to plus. So now let's solve for y. So I get y plus 1 equals 6x plus 18. Subtract 1. I get y equals 6x plus 17. And there's the equation of our line. Let's look at another one. Find an equation for the line through the points 3, negative 1, and negative 1, 1, and solve it for y. Well, to find the equation of a line, you can see over here in this formula we need the slope. And this problem doesn't give us the slope, but it gives us two points on the line, and with these two points we can find the slope. So the slope, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, so that equals y2 minus y1, which is 1 minus negative 2 over x2 minus x1, negative 1 minus 3. So this is going to give us uh, 3 over negative 4. So our slope is negative 3 fourths. Now we take this slope and we plug it into the point slope formula. Now we have the slope and we have y1, I mean we have x1 and y1. We can call this point x1, y1 or we can call this one x1, y1. It doesn't matter which one you use for the point slope formula. So I have y minus y1 and I'm going to just go ahead and use this one. So I've got y minus y1 equals m, which is negative 3 fourths, times x minus x1, which is negative 1. See, I used this to be m, I used this to be x1, and I used this one to be y1 in my point slope form. So now I have y minus 1 equals negative 3 fourths times x plus 1. So y minus 1 equals negative 3 fourths x minus 3 fourths. And so I add 1 to both sides. So I get y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 1 fourth. And there's my answer. There's my equation of my line. Let's look at another one. Find the equation of line L. Line L goes through the point 2, 0 and is perpendicular to the line through 5, negative 1, and negative 1, 3. Okay, so we have a point on our line, but it doesn't give us the slope. But it tells us that our line is perpendicular to the line that passes through these two points. So if we can find the slope of this line, then the slope of our line 
would be the negative reciprocal since it's perpendicular. So the slope of the line, and I'm going to put a subscript P to let this know this is the slope of the line perpendicular. That's equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So that's going to be 4 over negative 6, which is negative 2 thirds. So this is the slope of the line that's perpendicular to ours. So the slope of our line, and we'll just call this M with the subscript L for line L, that's our line, is equal to 3 halves since it's perpendicular. So we have the slope M, and we have X1, and we have Y1 to plug into the point slope formula. So we have Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So Y minus 0 is just Y equals 3 halves x minus 3. And there's our equation of our line. Now let's look at this one. Find the equation of line L. Line L goes through negative 1, 6 and is parallel to the line through 2, 4 and 7, negative 11. So once again, we have a point on the line, but we don't have the slope. But it tells us that line L is parallel to the line passing through these two points. So if we can find the slope of this line, that means the line of our slope would be the same as this one since it's parallel. So the slope of the line, and I'll use a subscript P to let us know that this is the line parallel, is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So this is going to be negative 15 over 5, which equals negative 3. So the slope of line L is equal to negative 3. Since it's parallel to this line, they have the same slope. So now we have the slope of the line, which is the negative 3, and we have x1, and we have y1. So we plug all this into the point slope formula. So I have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus 6 equals negative 3 times x plus 1. So y minus 6 equals negative 3x minus 3, add 6, I get y equals negative 3x plus 3. And there's the equation of the line. And that's it.